Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Prescription Nurse, your daily dose to living well. I'm Shandra Eldridge, your nurse consultant, back with another video. Today's video is all about self-care. Self-care involves establishing a routine. Self-care also involves scheduling time for yourself. It's important that you schedule this time and make an appointment and do not break the appointment. Your self-care routine should involve things to help you relax, de-stress, and recharge. So I'll be showing you some different things that I like to do to relax, de-stress from a long day, and recharge. Self-care also involves very good hygiene tips. So in the video, I'll be going over some things that I like to do to promote good hygiene and good rest and relaxation. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Skin care is a huge part of a self-care routine. Skin is the largest part of the body and it's one of the first things that people will notice about you so it's very important to take care of your skin i like to start off by cleansing my face with the aveda botanical kinetics purifying gel cleanser i love this cleanser because it's good for oily skin it lathers well and it smells very spa like it smells really good and i like using this facial brush um, I got this off of Amazon and I like it because it really helps to get the cleanser into your skin. Um, it helps to exfoliate the skin and it gives your skin a little bit of a massage so it improves circulation in your skin, helping to give your skin that really natural glow. So I really love using this brush. And I also like it because if you have a little bit of residue left over from makeup, it keeps the makeup from getting on your towels. So it's a really great tool that you can use to cleanse your face. Take a deep breath in, exhale. I love to get in front of a steamer and do a facial steam and steam my skin. It just really helps me to relax and get my pores open. And it's just a really great way to relax and kind of wash away all the stress from the day. And it's so important to invest in the tools that you need. So I would suggest investing in getting you a facial steamer. It is so relaxing and it does wonders for your skin. It really does help your skin to clear up from any breakouts because it opens up the pores and it gets all those impurities out. And it just helps your skin to have that young glow to it. All items used in this video will be linked below down in the description box. Next, I'd like to go in with my Fenty Skin Fat Water Pore Refining Toner Serum. And I love using this because it keeps my skin looking very hydrated and plump and it goes on nicely and it smells good. I love any product that smells good. This toner refines pores, um, it reduces the look of dark spots, and it provides you with an even skin tone, and it fights shine without drying out your skin. Um, it doesn't strip your skin of the natural oils, so that's why I like using the Fenty Skin Fat Water as a toner. It's a really good quality product. So, you know, sometimes I can be extra, so this is an extra step. I like to use the Aveda Botanical Toning Mist, and I just like to spray it because it's so refreshing. 
Now let's get into this oral care. Oral hygiene is very important. I think a lot of times people neglect their oral hygiene for many reasons, but you must go to the dentist at least twice a year. I mean, at the very least. But I love using this Hello brand um, because it is free of parabens, no peroxide, artificial sweeteners, no dyes, sulfates, um, and it's gluten and dairy free if that's something you're interested in. And it really does keep your breath fresh all day. I usually try to brush my teeth at least twice a day during the day um, when I'm at work and then at night once I get home. It is a very good toothpaste. This um, has hemp seed oil and coconut oil in it to help moisturize your gums and keep your teeth in great shape. I enjoy using the mouthwash as well. It has hemp seed oil in it with tea tree and coconut oil um, to give you the ultimate freshness and long lasting freshness. It doesn't have any alcohol in it and it tastes great. I hate that strong alcohol mouthwash. So I really enjoy using this mouthwash. And I do have a water pick and I will be doing a more in-depth um, hygiene or oral hygiene video. And if that's something you are interested in, please um, drop me a comment below. One thing I really love doing is taking a hot shower. So that's what we're gonna do next. And I like to put a little bit of tea tree oil in the shower because it's just so refreshing and relaxing and it smells so good. So I like to put it in the shower first and let the shower get really steamy. So while the shower is getting steamy, I will run a hot bath. And I like to take a, a shower before I get into the bathtub. So while the shower is getting hot and steamy, I will start my bath. And I like to use the Dr. Till's Lavender Soak. Um, I love the smell of lavender as well, so I'll use tea tree oil in the shower and then I'll use lavender essential oil um, in the bath. Once the shower is hot and steamy, it's time to get in and enjoy the tea tree oil and all the steam and get into the shower routine. And the first thing I like to do is use my lavender scrub. And I like to kind of do a dry scrub. It's important to exfoliate your skin. Exfoliating the skin gives it that healthy glow. It sloughs away all the dead skin cells. So I really like to do this when I'm in the shower. And this is um, a lavender base um, scrub from Tree Hut and it keeps my skin moisturized as well. It doesn't strip away the natural oils, but it also keeps it moisturized. So I like to do this when I'm in the shower. So next I'm going to shower with my Lavender and Rose um, body wash by Native. This is an all natural body wash and it smells really good because it lathers well and it smells good and it's just very clean. One little fun fact, um, did you know that showers are a great way to lower your blood pressure? So if you are someone who feels stressed out all the time or have a high stressful life or just dealing with stress like we all do, one of the things you can do is take a hot shower and it will naturally help lower your blood pressure. So taking a hot shower is a great way to de-stress and take care of yourself. So the next step is to cleanse my private area and of course you can cleanse that area with just regular water um, but I like to use the Vagisil. I've been using it for years and I've never had any issues, never had any yeast infection or any major vaginal problems so using just soap and water or the Vagisil has worked for me and um, I like using this brand because it's very gentle and it keeps you feeling fresh and smelling clean. There's nothing like taking a nice hot bath. 
soaking in the tub is very good for you. It helps to relax you, it helps you to de-stress. And I like to read some scriptures, meditate, maybe have some hot tea. Uh, sometimes I like to have a glass of wine, but right now I'm just drinking tea and trying to relax a little bit more. I love the bubbles. And the next thing I'm going to do after I get out of the bathtub is moisturize my face. And I actually got this moisturizer from my um, BoxyCharm uh, subscription box. And it's really good. It just moisturizes my face. And I just enjoy using it. I like it. So I'm going to moisturize my face um, and just make sure that I rub it in very well. Um, you really want to make sure you moisturize your face if you have oily skin because if you don't your skin is just going to produce more oil and it just turns into this vicious cycle. So next I'm going to light a candle. This is a candle I got from Bath & Body for stress relief um, and it just has this really nice um, spa smell. It has a lemongrass smell to it. And now what I'm going to do is just moisturize my um, entire body, starting with my legs um, when I get out of the bath. It's really important to moisturize because the hot water can really strip your skin of the natural oils. So you really want to make sure you replenish the moisture in your skin by um, applying moisturizer. And I love this um, Soap and Glory Body Butter. It smells really nice. It just gives you a nice, fresh, um, clean smell to your skin, and it lasts all day. You can smell this stuff all day. I really enjoy it. It's very creamy. It goes on real smooth. And that's pretty much it for my routine. After that, you want to make sure you are taking a multivitamin. It's very important to supplement your diet with a multivitamin because of course we all know we don't get all the nutrients we need through food because you know we have very busy lives so a lot of times we're eating out or just not eating uh, the best food so I like to take the uber energy the gut instinct and then the immune boost um, with hum and I will leave a link down in the description box of all the products that I use I hope you enjoyed this video and I will have more videos like this in the future. If you're interested, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Prescription Nurse. Now that's your daily dose.